So let's look at this interesting problem. Uh, consider the function minimum of t1 gamma t2, obviously a nonlinear function. So the question is, is this an autocorrelation function? So we can give a simple mathematical proof. Remember, any autocorrelation function needs to be non-negative definite. That's because this is expected value of x of uh, ti, uh, x of uh, tj. So let's say the complex case it is like this. This is the, uh, uh, so this need to be non-negative definite. Uh, so the easiest argument is you take an arbitrary vector and look at uh, this. So this is of course expected value of uh, a star x of t. You can clearly see absolute value squared because multiplied by uh, x star of t a. So this is the com complex conjugate of that. So if you call this to be y, this is expected value of y squared. And that's of course uh, non-negative definite. So that's true. So the question is, if you create an R with uh, Rij equal to minimum of t1 gamma t2, uh, does it satisfy this property? So, uh, but to, uh, so let's construct R. So R is going to be. So let's say t1, t2, t n are ordered in this fashion. T1 is the smallest, then t2, t n is the largest. So the minimum of uh, uh, in the first row and first column is going to be, of course, T1, because this is the minimum. Here also it will be T1. This will be T2. So T2. You get the idea Then this will be T3, 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 T3 and finally Tn. So the question is, is this a non-negative definite matrix? So the proof goes like this. You can see that T1, if I pull out the T1 from everywhere, so in other words, I can certainly write this as the sum of two matrices. Here it's all, uh, I'm pulling, this is all T1, everywhere. And this will be, of course, here it will be all zero. And the first row is zero. And this will be T2 minus T1. Uh, T2 minus uh, T1, etc. This will be T2 minus T1. This will be T3 minus T1, etc. This will be Tn minus T1. But notice that the first one you can write it as T1 multiplied by uh, this. Uh, so plus, and now I'm going to pull out the T2 minus T1. So if I pull out T2 minus T1, then notice that I can write this as the this is of course all zero, but then you have all this uh, one. And the remaining thing would be all zeros on the first row, zeros on the first column, zeros here, zeros here. Then remember, the minus, so I pull out T2 minus T1, so this is all zero. From here, T, from T3 minus T1, if we subtract T2 minus T1, this will turn out to be T3 minus T2. So this entry is T3 minus T2, uh, T3 minus uh, T2, etc. Here also T3 minus T2 going this way. Last entry is Tn minus T3. Uh, and notice, so this can be written as T1. This will be all ones, uh, 1, 1, 1, 1. Plus T2 minus T1. This of course can be written as 0, 1, well, multiplied by its conjugate, 0, 1, 1, 1. You get the idea, the next one is going to be T3 minus T2, then this will be 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, multiplied by 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, <coughs> plus, uh, except for the last one will be Tn minus Tn minus 1, and 0, 0, all the way to 0, 1, and it's conjugate, 0, 0. Now what? Notice that, of course, we are able to write this as sigma, uh, some mu k, uh, a k, a k transpose, where, uh, so each of this is a, a rank one and non-negative definite, mu k's are all positive, that's the key, so the whole thing is uh, non-negative definite. So we just established that uh, purely by simple algebraic cons or matrix algebra considerations that minimum is uh, um, 
non-negative definite function. Um, so it's an autocorrelation function. So if you look at another function, t r t1 comma t2 equal to t1 t2, of course the same argument because if you generate an r with uh, this, <coughs> with uh, so this will be t1 t2 except for t n multiplied by t1 except for t n. So this is actually a rank one matrix. So this is also a non-negative function. So this is an autocorrelation function. This is an autocorrelation function. Sum of two autocorrelation functions is, of, of course, the sum of two stochastic processes with these autocorrelation functions, which are uncorrelated. But the sum of this plus this, we you know, is a Poisson, uh, corresponds to the autocorrelation function of a Poisson process if you multiply by lambda squared here and lambda here. And uh, so all this is established purely using uh, just a very simple uh, matrix uh, results or non-negative definite matrices.